Good morning. So we're fixing to go to communication therapy. And before that, I have to get my medicine. So I'm just making sure that I have it in there from the computer. So I have to get my medicine and I also have to get um, two papers for Raphael to be charged for the um, therapy. We pay for this therapy. In order for them to actually get payment, they need a paper from my health insurance. We have the best health insurance, but still we have to pay. It's not free. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Now we just have to wait on the elevator. I have 30 minutes before the appointment. It's literally like a minute up the road. Yes, <laughs> triangle. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid stroller. Ever since we took it to America with Raphael, the wheels on the stroller are broke, 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 so they go twisted. So it's just for taking her in and out of the car, basically. You can't walk with it. We made a mistake of taking it when we were gonna go hiking. George! And I told Hadar, don't take it. In my baba. In her baba. Anyway, I told Hadar, don't take it because, you know, it's uh, bad, it doesn't roll well. But he took it so we couldn't go walking with it, so I stayed with her in the car. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> she keeps dropping it, everyone. Well, now it's a game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take it and drop it, Abigail. Oh, that wasn't a nice drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Don't yell. Oh, I'm so excited. We're in the pharmacy. I'm gonna get her some hair clips, hopefully, and some formula. This is a new one. I haven't seen this one. You gotta have cash for this, though. It looks like it's only five shekels, I don't know. The rectangle hole standing up there. Yeah? Are you happy? You need to buy money for it. Yeah, I never have change on me. Some little girl sandals. They're like $79.99. $129 for the bigger ones. The brown sandals right here are $119. The ones next to it, the black one, are 99. And the baby sandals are 119. This is at the store right next to Shufersov. Okay, so we already pay for his sessions, okay? And they're pretty much paid once every two months or something like that. And we pay a lot of money for them. And every time I have to go get these forms, there's always something. And today there was a new girl, and then the manager's like, yeah, she agreed with a new girl. I'm like, dude. <laughs> I was like, just give me the payment forms and I'll let the other woman sort it out. And everyone was in there yelling today. Everyone. It started my day off really, really crappy. Because first of all, uh, she kept me there for 40 minutes. And it, I went before the appointment because they need the payment forms. And the receptionist always gives me a dirty look if I don't go in there with the payment forms and she asks for them. She asked for them yesterday, she called for it. She called me and said, go get it. So I was like, okay, I'll get it before I come. I had plenty of time, could have just walked in there and got it. You know, you say form 17, you get your papers and then you go, you know. It's never that easy. It's never that easy. So someone new is in there, okay, and then their their whole goal is to keep you there she talked to people like she let people go in front of me i'm sitting at her little cubicle she let people walk in on me she let you know phone calls distract her this never happens the phone call they never answer the phone there okay 
Um, we have called hundreds of times and they ne never answer the phone. We let it ring off the hook and usually when I'm there, the phone is ringing constantly because they never answer it. So she's answering phone call after phone call, you know. And I'm thinking, are you freaking serious right now? So I lean over to the other cubicle and I was like, ma'am, do you know what a Form 17 is for the payment slip for the to get me the heck out of here because I got an appointment then she finally she's like yeah I'll get her so she got me in a I just started in a a bad mood today because really honestly if they did know how to do their job they don't they don't care about it they don't care about doing a good job there's a lot of it's it happens with receptionists 98% of the time here it's not, they're not friendly. They don't give a crap about you. They don't, there's no niceties. You being good back here with Abigail? Yes. Now I want to go, I want to tell you something. Did Mom. you get your seatbelt on? Yeah. Um, no. Oh, look at these, these crazy drivers out here. Yeah. Oh. Driving backwards. Oh, and this guy right here, he's parked so close to me that Raphael could barely open his door and get in. Open your door, Raphael. Don't Look. drop, don't drop George out. I can't open it. Yeah, that's as far as he could open it, and he had to squeeze in there because there's a bunch of stuff over here. So just no, it's not nice. Hi, baby girl. That's Hi. that's a bad mood. So that's a bad driver. Yeah, sh that's a bad driver. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go home now. I'm. Ugh. I'm going to have a protein shake with coffee in it that's replacing my um, morning coffee with milk. That was a pretty good transition. I like protein shake with coffee in it. It tastes really good, so I'm good with that. And Hadar bought me a huge thing. It's very expensive. We were kind of annoyed because, you know, he knows the prices of it in Florida because he went and bought it in Florida all the time when he was there for two months. It's like double the price here. It was $100 for a, a thing of protein shake. But I can't, I can't reproduce that, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't make a substitute for that for a protein shake, so. Thing, everybody. What do you want, honey? When the, we're going to go to another store that has car Oh, no, plate. we're not. And Bumba, and We're not getting chips. Bumba yet. Dad, you can ask Daddy for your treat. You can ask Daddy for Bumba. But we're not buying Bamba today. I am steering clear of junk food um, for him as well as for me. <laughs> I'm having surgery soon. I don't like it. But if they fix me up, then I'll be able to go on a diet. It should be in and out surgery. It's just exploratory, so we'll see if that fixes me. Um, the only thing that's like really bothering me right now is weakness in my arms as severe uh, muscle spasms and cramps and that's it a couple of days I think maybe a week I'm I try not to when something like this is gonna happen I try not to even like think about how many days but it's it's within a week I think um, sometime next week so maybe a couple days four four I don't know see I try not to think about it because it gets me all panicky and worried and um, hopefully they fix whatever's going on. Get your seatbelt on. We're leaving. I'm leaving as soon as I turn this camera off. I'm on leaving. Then I can start the other half of the health thing. I'm going to get my back fixed. I'm going to work on like maybe therapy for my back to fix it because I have, um, it's called lordosis and it's really bad. So hopefully at the same time I fix my back, I can be losing some weight. I have to do exercises for it and I really want to get therapy for it to correct it because it's hurt me pretty much all my life. It's just time. I just want to feel good and I want to do more things. So it's just time to get my health back in order. I've never been in a position where I wasn't able to go on a diet because of my health. You don't don't know what somebody's doctor has told them to do and this has to do with my kidneys and kidneys they're just kidneys are precious <laughs> you know what I mean it's it's your vital organ you need them to survive if you don't have 
your kidneys, you can't live. I really had to, you know, take better care of myself. And whatever the doctor is telling me to do is what I'm doing. I'm trying my best to not just go low carb, you know, because, because I know that'll make me feel better, but it won't help my health at all. It'll be very detrimental to my health. Are you okay? I'm gonna go home and feed these kids. Okay, so this is the um, it's gold standard way, naturally flavored. It's vanilla, no artificial flavors or sweeteners, so I have to put stevia in it. So I got stevia, two uh, scoops of protein. This is a, um, a bigger one. It's not huge, but two scoops of protein, one spoon of coffee, and that's the coffee granules. And I still have to cook Raphael's food, but I have hers already done because she's eating what she ate for breakfast. I want to eat hot dogs and cold, Mommy. And <laughs> we're not eating cold hot dogs. I got um, just a little bit left of her sweet potato, and I just cut a sweet potato into squares and bowl it. <laughs> so there's her food. And I guess he's going to have hot dogs, but he's not going to have them cold. He wants them cold. I just don't feel good about giving them cold hot dogs. So. I want hot cold ones. Yeah, I know. Cheesy, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheesy, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And you know why? Why? It's because I am Eating hot dogs. Yeah? Cooked hot dogs. Mm. No, I'm not. Mommy gave me cold ones. <laughs> You're eating cooked hot dogs, Raphael. No, I'm not. I'm not, everyone. I'm not eating cold hot dogs. I can't give you cold hot dogs. I don't feel good about that. I feel good about cold hot dogs. <laughs> She asked me to turn on the camera, and then she has nothing to say. Well, what did you want to say? Oh, really? Well, kitty, kitty, did you want to say something? Did you want to say something? You want to give him a hug? A kiss? A hug? You want to give him a hug? Yeah, oh yeah, you get no hugs. You give him another hug? Oh, that's a good kitty. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share, fully living. Then we're gonna go take him back for work. I have to go get my blood work done for a blood transfusion. So on some teeth, things like some slow. And it's so big. Yeah, pull out. I'm trying to. What do you want me to do? <laughs>